shoulder, everybody. My name's Harry James. Congratulations are in store for our softball team. And yes, even a little shout out to Oklahoma State, OSU, who gave them quite a three game set in Stillwater. Uh, plus, the traditional football thing, the preview. This one, uh, Western Carolina and the uh, Catamount. Catamount. Next, Boomer Center 1982. Don't go away! girls natty patty and company another regular season big 12 championship in the books winning two or three in silly stilly but oklahoma state gave them a series in fact we have run ruled in softball we've run ruled everybody in fact you guys know i care a lot about football on this uh, on this video cast right the softball program has scored more points or more runs than the OU football team in points this season. That tells you what a year they've had. But uh, like I said, OSU pushed them to the gauntlet. Coach G out there. What a great job there finishing second in the league. A game behind our Sooners of Oklahoma. Switching from the diamond to the field. Football field, that is. Preview show for Western Carolina and the Catamounts. The Catamounts of Western Carolina make their home in Cahoe, North Carolina, finishing 1-8 and eight last season. They play in the Southern Conference, finishing 1-5 and five there. The Southern Conference is an FCS uh conference uh they are uh they finished eighth and ninth in the league they finished there at one and five with wolford university in the southern conference of the fcs they beat the citadel uh 21 to 24 in uh in that in the ball game last season uh, they're, they play at E.J. Whitmore Stadium there in North Carolina. Head coach, Kerwin Bell, first season at uh, WCU, Western Carolina University. Uh, statting numbers, the stats, numbers from last year, statistically. Their passing leader last year, number seven, Ryan Glover, pays, passed for 832 yards, three touchdowns, did have four interceptions, his longest completion last year, 59 yards. They ran the ball pretty well for uh, the Western Carolina. They did that behind uh, Donvi and Spencer and uh, Micaiah Stanley. Spencer, 20, Donovan Stancer, a buck 31 carries attempts on the uh, ground to go with 376 yards, 336 yards on the ground, six touchdowns. His longest run, 67 yards. Stanley, Micaiah Stanley, 45 yards on the ground, or 45 carries on the ground to go with 223 yards, two touchdowns. His longest run, 
21 yards. Wide receivers, uh, returning players, uh, wide receivers at least, Calvin Jones, running back, and 86, Clayton Bardell, Bar Bardell, the tight end. We'll start with the running back, 13, Calvin Jones, 24 catches, a buck 98 on the air to go with a touchdown. His longest reception, 28 yards from the running back slot. Clayton Bell, wide, uh, tight end, 10 catches, a buck 56 in the air receiving, three touchdowns, 42 a, a long catch uh, from his tight end slot. So that's offense. But you got to play a little defense. You got to play three ways if you're going to try to beat Oklahoma. You got to do everything right. Defense, too. And that will come down to 37, Ty Harris, and 27, uh, Trevor Childress. Both linebackers in the, uh, for Western Carolina. First of all, Ty Harris, 89 tackles last year, a fourth fumble. Zero fumbles recovered, zero picks for the linebacker. 22, Trevor Childress, 58 total tackles last year. A fourth fumble, zero recovered fumbles, and a pick from his linebacker's core. That's offense, defense. What about a little special teams? If it comes down to special teams, it'll come down to either Preston Robertson or uh, Richard McCollum. For uh, punting, uh, we'll start with uh, Jackson Robertson. Robertson, 34 punts, averaging 39.5 in average, a touch one touchback, 12 balls inside the 20-yard line, and a long of 58 yards for Praxton Robertson. Also, Richard McCollum, 20 attempts last year for punts, averaging 38.5 in average, zero touchbacks. 10 inside the 20-yard line, and 52 was his long. Both Richardson, or Robertson and McComb are both also the returning kickers. Paxton Robertson, 100% uh, last season. 46 Paxton Robertson, 2 for 2 for 100%, a long 52 for him. And Richard McCollum, 3 for 6, 50% for number 89 McCollum, but had a career-long 45-yard kick last year. All right, guys, that'll do it for the preview. Now, before we go, I know you. You know me. OU football is what we live and breathe. Helping us live and breathe through the offseason, boom. Brady Trantham, Keegan Renault, the OU, the Inside OU podcast, good, good stuff here. And by the way, hey, it's free. It's free. Leave them a rating if you want. Gotta love it. Gotta love this too. It's a Patreon app. Through the keyhole. That's what it's called. It's through the keyhole. Um, they do a lot of fun stuff on this one. They do extra podcasts for the Patreon people. That's $4 if you want those. They also do like film reviews. From Keegan Renault, like the coaches get, Lincoln and Riley, and what Bob Stoops used to do. That's for five bucks. And he'll break down certain films for you. They also uh, will do uh, video uh, conferences, Skypes with you. Looks like this, there's going to be one tonight, Sunday, 7 uh, 7.30 p.m., uh, and uh, Keegan will send out the uh, the Zoom here uh, pretty soon, so be looking forward to that. So, got that out of the way, got that out of the way. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Harry James. You can catch this on all my other videos. YouTube, Bummer Senior 1982. Also, Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Or on my Twitter machine, at Hype Man Harry. All right, guys, next week we'll preview a, a game you may I've heard a little bit of cub out. First, it wasn't going to happen. Now we've got to do a pregame for it, because, or a preview for it, because there will be a game. The other Big Red, Big Bad Nebraska, from the Big Ten. They'll 
I'll be in week three. We'll preview that game. We'll, uh, we'll preview Nebraska next week, only right here. Boomer Sooner 1982. See you all next week. Boomer Sooner. Peace.